Welcome back to Jenna's Kitchen. Cheese danishes. Everybody loves to get it from the store. But did you know that they're really simple and delicious to make when you're at home? Let's get started. So the first thing that we're gonna do is get our crescent roll dough opened. I feel like this is every kid's favorite thing to do. Like on, in the mornings when you get some crescent rolls, popping the cane is everybody's favorite thing to do. It's not mine. It scares the devil out of me. Cause it just goes bah! And you're like, Arr! Okay. Get this out of the way. All right, here we go. Peel out and roll them on to our baking pan. All right now you just wanna unroll these. I'm just unrolling these on a jelly roll pan with some parchment paper on it. That way they don't stick to the pan when they're baking. So now I'm just gonna show y'all how to pinch this together and cut it. So, you know how they have this little triangle slit in them that way you can roll them up and make crescent rolls? Well, we're gonna pinch that together so it's one big rectangle. Just pinch them together. Boop, 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 and there we go. Now we're gonna take a butter knife. I'm gonna twist it this way because it'll be easier. And just cut three or four strips. If they come apart, just pinch them back together. Now what we're gonna do, stretch them out a little bit. Take some white sugar, sprinkle it. Because a crescent roll dough isn't really that sweet, because crescent rolls aren't sweet. So if you put some sugar in there, it's gonna add some extra sweetness. Pick them up and twist. Twisty, twisty. All right, set it back down and put it in a circle. Ta-da! And there you have it. I'm gonna do the, that to the rest of these pie rolls. Okay, these are all rolled. Now it's just time to sprinkle some sugar on the top. Now it's time to make the cream cheese filling. Okay, so how we make the cream cheese filling? Super duper simple. We take Half a cup of softened cream cheese, a tablespoon of sugar, half a teaspoon of vanilla, and three tablespoons of lemon juice. Take our whisk and whisk it up. Also use an electric mixer instead of a hand whisk. Okay, I had to trade my whisk out for my hand mixer because my cream cheese wasn't quite soft enough. All right, this is all smooth. Now we're going to scoop it into our pastry. Okay, so we have our cream cheese mixture. We have our crescent rolls. Now it's time to put the two together. So I have my little cookie scoop. Now I'm just gonna make a little impression in the middle for the filling to go in. Get the scoop and plop it in the middle. Ta-da! Now we're gonna do that to the rest of our crescent rolls. All of these have been filled, now I'm just gonna tap it on the counter to get any of the air bubbles out. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop these in a 350 degree oven for 10 to 15 minutes. All right, so our danishes have come out of the oven. I'm letting them cool and while they are cooling, we're going to make the glaze. I have 1 4 cup of powdered sugar and one tablespoon of heavy cream. Pour it into our powdered sugar. Come on. You know, baby wish and whisk it up. Make sure you get all the lumps out. All right, you want it to kind of ribbon down from your whisk, like that. All right, we're gonna put this in a piping bag and drizzle it over our dishes. Okay, so I'm gonna take my piping bag and put it in a little cup. Take our glaze, get a spatula, and scoop it all in. Alrighty. I'm just gonna get all the glaze. Damn. Take my scissors, snip off a small hole. 
small hole away and drizzle. Add a little bit of sweetness and it makes them look really pretty. Anytime you need a quick treat or you want to make these ahead for breakfast in the morning, these would be perfect for the holidays. These are super simple to make and your family will love them. Here are the Danish rolls that we made today. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. These are so delicious. Anytime you get a craving for these, instead of going to the store and getting these, make them at home. You will not regret it. These are literally the bomb.com. If you like this video, please like it and comment down below and subscribe to Jenna's Kitchen. Plus, don't forget to share this with your Danish loving friends. I can almost guarantee you that they will love this recipe as much as you do. If cream cheese isn't your thing, you can put pie fillings, like cherry pie filling is my personal favorite. You can put peach, raspberry, blueberry, even pumpkin if that's your thing. You do you. You make these your own. And if you make them and share them on social media, on Facebook or Instagram, be sure to tag Jenna's Kitchen 16. See you guys next time. I got some Danishes to eat.